card designer has just one main design view. When you first open a card, you'll see the front of the card. Using the arrows, you can see the back of the card. If you have a card that's folded, the front will show and then next the inside. This card folds up and down, so this would be the top of the inside and the bottom of the inside, and then next the back of the card. At the bottom, you'll find access to your photos, so you can swap photos. Next, you'll find background patterns. And finally, you'll find PNG design elements. You can use any element that is shipped with Funding Designer or import your own elements. When you click the layout buttons, you'll have access to all of the designs and at the bottom you can click open and open the design library to download more designs. To create a new card, under the card icon, click new card. Under sizes, you'll see standard sizes, and when you choose a size, you can choose whether you want that to be a horizontal card, vertical, horizontal fold, or vertical fold card. Under custom, you can set any size you'd like, and whether you want that to be flat, folded, horizontal, or vertical. Or, if you're doing a special die cut card from your lab, you can select any JPEG template. For this card, we'll use a 5x7 horizontal folded card, or at any time I can click Recent Sizes, name my card, and save those changes. When you first create the card, you'll choose your template. You can filter by the type of designs or open your design library. At any time, you can click this icon and edit the size of your card. When you first create a new card, you'll have the choice of your design, or at any time you can click the layout button and open the quick design picker. You can always filter the types of designs, save the date, thank you, baby, etc. If you don't see the design you'd like, you can click and open the design library and in the design library, you can filter by card type also. You'll notice that many of the cards are free, but that some of the cards require a Pro Enhancement subscription. Once you find the design that you like, click Choose, and that design will download to your Quick Design Picker. Then simply click on the design that you'd like, that design will load, and you can start making changes to that design. We've made editing cards as simple as possible, yet giving you as much control as possible. I'll turn off the guides during this demonstration, but you can turn them on at any time using this icon. This drop zone is just like an album builder. You can add or remove as many photos as you like to that drop zone. With this release, we've added the ability to add color blocks for card designer, but also for albums and also wall art. You can change the size. You can use this icon to add another color block. Additionally, you can move that color block backwards and forwards, center it, etc. I'm going to change this color block to white because with this icon, I'm going to change the background color to black. And then additionally, any PNG asset, you can change the color of that asset as well using the color picker or the overlay slider. Additionally, I can add or remove key lines to these images as well, just like an album builder. So the ability to edit the design is very powerful, yet very simple. Always remember to check the back of a card because you'll want to swap out your studio logo as well as change the website, telephone, and address information, or you can simply delete that.
Now let's say I love this design and I want to reuse it with different photos and different clients. Under the export menu, I can click save as a design set and I can name that. And then this is very important for when you save because I'm going to tag this as thank you. That way it will show up into the thank you cards bucket when I filter my designs. On the left, this will give a preview of the design. And if you have any PNG assets, this side will give you a preview of those assets. And I'll click save. Now when I go into my quick design picker, I'll scroll down and I'll see that thank you card that I just saved as one of my saved design sets. Additionally, if I filter, we'll notice that I filtered this design set right here. If you click on the export icon, all of your ordering and export options are underneath this icon.